This is a grammatical sentence formation course being taught by M. Kadrivadi Chanai. Dear friends, are you ready? Today, we are going to see Fluency in English, part 211. You just note out the heading, Fluency in English, part 211. Fluency means what, you may ask me. Fluency is nothing but the quality of being able to speak English fluently without any hesitation. That means what? When you think, you have to speak. When you think, you have to speak. That is called fluency. I am here. I will train you in a systematic way to get fluency in English without any grammatical errors. Only thing is, you have to listen with the concentration. That is very, very important. That is the key to improve your communication in English. The main heading is fluency in English under which we see various usages. In that order, now we are going to see the usage of would be plus past participle. Would be plus past participle is the past form of will be plus past participle. What meaning you will get? Padu. In the main word, past participle are pandilo, adoda, padu madaikrum. If it is negative, would not be plus past participle. In the main word, pada matad. In the past participle, the main verb are pandilo, adoda like. This is a passive usage. The subject is not the doer, you are aware of it. When will we use would be plus past participle? If there is a reporting verb in past tense, the will be plus past participle in the other parts will change into would be plus past participle. Understand? Simple actually, reporting verb past tense in the other part of the world will change. That is active usage and passive usage. Understand? The featurity will not change. The featurity will not change. That means what? Featurity is not change. The meaning will not change. The meaning will not change. Only the form will change. Will not Understand? That is not the sentence. Subsequent word will change. Present tense na past tense change of Present continuous, past continuous change of Present perfect, past perfect change of Past tense, past perfect change of Understand? The form will definitely change. Meaning edukamodhi, present nature le edukkanu. Yenna reporting verb varradhan aladhi the changes. Understand? If adverbs come yesterday, today, this morning, this evening, tomorrow, next week, next month, next Monday. This is change of Yesterday Yesterday, the previous day. Today, that day. This morning, that morning. This evening, that evening. Tomorrow, the next day. Next week, the following week. Next Monday, the following Monday. Next month, the following month. Like that, it will change. So you can understand from the sentence. I will explain to you. So you start. Okay. Mr. Ganesh, what did your colleague, Mr. Prasad, tell you? What did your colleague, Mr. Prasad, tell you? My colleague, Mr. Prasad, told me that the matter would be reported to the director. My colleague, Mr. Prasad, told me that the matter would be reported to the director. And the matter, director ke report panna padum entry, yenudaya kali, Mr. Prasad, yenudam kurinar. This is the translation. Understand? Inge varakudaya, that is a conjunction. So totally it is called a complex sentence. My colleague, Mr. Prasad, told me, is a main clause or main part. The matter would be reported to the director as a subordinate clause. Adalada? Will be reported when the would be reported a change out. Understand? So hereafter you can understand. Okay? Shall I repeat it? Okay. Mr. Ganesh, what did your colleague, Mr. Prasad, tell you? My colleague, Mr. Prasad, told me that the matter would be reported to the director. Upon your conjunction, that you have to take translation only from last. Understand? Mr. Ganesh, what did you ask him? What did you ask him? 
I asked him when the matter would be reported to the director. I asked him when the matter would be reported to the director. He told me that the matter would be reported to the director as soon as he came to office tomorrow morning. He told me that the matter would be reported to the director as soon as he came to office tomorrow morning. In the case you see there, a reporting verb told in past tense. Understand? Automatic would do matra change agadi. Adithu varakudi a verb. As soon as he comes to office tomorrow morning, so the padala. As soon as he came to office tomorrow morning, so did he came. Yena and the present tense, past tense, samari. Yeni mean the explanation is not required. You can understand. Tomorrow morning, when the bracket le, next day morning, ni import karla. Understand? He told me that the matter would be reported to the director as soon as he came to office tomorrow morning. Mr. Siva, what did he ask you? What did he ask you? He asked me whether the message would be conveyed to my parents. He asked me whether the message would be conveyed to my parents. I told him. Yes, the message would be conveyed to my parents as soon as I reached home. I told him, yes, the message would be conveyed to my parents as soon as I reached home. Mr. Vignesh, what did you ask her? What did you ask her? I asked her whether the information would be passed on to her team leader who was on leave. I asked her whether the information would be passed on to her team leader who was on leave. In the case, who is on leave? Who was on leave? Because report you were passed on leave. Automatically, that will change off. Understand? I asked her whether the information would be passed on to her team leader who was on leave. She told me, yes, the information would be passed on to her team leader who was on leave. She told me, yes, the information would be passed on to her team leader who was on leave. What did you further ask her? What did you further ask her? I further asked her how the information would be passed on to her team leader who was on leave. I further asked her how the information would be passed on to her team leader who was on leave. She told me that the information would be passed on to her team leader who was on leave in person. She told me that the information would be passed on to her team leader who was on leave in person. What did you further ask her? What did you further ask her? I further asked her when the information would be passed on to a team leader who was on leave. I further asked her when the information would be passed on to a team leader who was on leave. She told me that the information would be passed on to her team leader before 9 o'clock in person. She told me that the information would be passed on to a team leader before 9 o'clock in person. Mr. Murli, what did she ask the secretary? What did she ask the secretary? She asked the secretary when the meeting would be held. She asked the secretary when the meeting would be held. The secretary told her that the meeting would be held at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. The secretary told her that the meeting would be held at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. In bracket, the next day morning. Understand? The next day morning. Because the report you have been passed and so automatically will change off. Mr. Balakumar, what did the HOD ask the carpenter? 
What did the HOD ask the carpenter? The HOD asked the carpenter when it would be made ready. The HOD asked the carpenter when it would be made ready. The carpenter told the HOD that it would be made ready next week. The carpenter told the HOD that it would be made ready next week. In bracket, the following week. Understand? Now, next week, you can understand. And the bracket the following week. Okay. The carpenter told the HOD that it would be made ready next week. In bracket, the following week. Mr. Arun, what did her parents ask you? What did her parents ask you? Her parents asked us whether parents of all the students would be invited to the function to be held at Dairy Stadium next month. Her parents asked us whether parents of all the students would be invited to the function to be held at Dairy Stadium next month. Bracket left. Next month, the following month. Understand? We told her parents, yes, parents of all the students would be invited to the function to be held at Nehru Stadium next month. We told her parents, yes, parents of all the students would be invited to the function to be held at Nehru Stadium next month. In bracket, the following month. Mr. Chandran, what did your guide ask you? What did your guide ask you? My guide asked me when my project report would be prepared. My guide asked me when my project report would be prepared. I told my guide that my project report would be prepared next week. I told my guide that my project report would be prepared next week, in bracket, the following week. Mr. Chandran, what did your guide further ask you? What did your guide further ask you? My guide further asked me when my project report would be submitted once it was prepared. My guide further asked me when my project report would be submitted once it was prepared. I told my guide that my project report would be submitted within two days once it was prepared. I told my guide that my project report would be submitted within two days once it was prepared. So here you please understand, once it is prepared, once it was prepared, past tense passive amatiri came. Yenna, and you report you were past tense, automatic elami change out. Understand? Mr. Kadir, what did the assistant manager tell you? What did the assistant manager tell you? The assistant manager told me that the matter would not be discussed with the senior manager. As soon as he came to office tomorrow morning, the assistant manager told me that the matter would not be discussed with the senior manager as soon as he came to office tomorrow morning. So here, tomorrow morning, the next day morning. As soon as he comes to office, Padala, as soon as he came to office, okay? Now, what is the meaning of the meaning? You can understand. Now, the morning, senior manager, Abis Kwanta Wadane and the matter senior manager discuss Panda Pada Matad Yendru Astral Manager Yenidam Sonar Yenidam Kurinar. This is the translation for negative sentence. Understand? Here after you can understand. The Astral Manager told me that the matter would not be discussed with the senior manager as soon as he came to office tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning in bracket the next day morning. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? Did you listen with the concentration? Okay. Let me finish up to this level. Thank you very much.
for having attended this class continuously. If you like this course, if you are interested in attending this class, if it creates any positive vibration in your mind, please share with your friends and others. It will definitely, certainly and surely make my dreams realize. I will meet you this time tomorrow. Until then, goodbye. M. Kadirvedu. Thank you.